This is 150 Belyaghata Main Road, now known as Gandhi Bhavan. Mahatma Gandhi stayed in this house between 13th August and 6th September 1947. It was owned by a person called Nawab Abdul Ghani and known as Haidari Manzil. On the eve of independence, the Mahatma stayed in this rundown place and his 73 hour long fast poured water on the fire then raging in the city. Those born after independence may not recognize these violent scenes. But Calcutta actually witnessed horrendous violence in the August of 1946. The violence was triggered by the Direct Action Day declared by Muslim League to resolve the issue of Pakistan. It resulted in a bloodbath with Hindus and Muslims mercilessly attacking each other. Calcutta turned into a virtual inferno for at least four days around August 16. The riots claimed over 4,000 lives. Houses were burnt down, shops and markets were looted, and dead bodies, brutally murdered and mutilated, lay on the city streets. Violence which broke out in Calcutta spread to Noakhali, now in Bangladesh, to Bihar, parts of Uttar Pradesh, and Punjab. While transfer of power was being settled in Delhi, a large part of the country was on fire. Gandhi visited the riot torn areas of Noakhali and Bihar. His only concern was to ensure Hindus and Muslims rid themselves of their mutual hatred and distrust. His was a lone battle. Today, the appearance of this house has changed. Today, 
आपकी क्यों शरारत करे आपको आपके बच्चा को बच्ची को किसी को बट इट वॉज हियर Gandhi ji put his principle of ahimsa to the acid test in an environment charged with violence and hatred. Hindu lata hai, usme Musliman nahi ja sakte hain, aur fir agar Musliman rehte hain, wah Hindu nahi ja sakte hain. Wo dono ke liye badi. Gandhi ji continued with his peace mission, deciding to stay in Noakhali on the day of independence. On 9 August 1947. On his way to Noakhali Gandhi ji arrived in Calcutta and after meeting with Governor Burroughs reached Sodhpur ashram The city was then in the grip of sporadic violence He met leaders of both communities and soon realized everybody was apprehending fresh violence on Independence Day and Muslims were feeling particularly insecure at their request he decided to stay in calcutta on 15th august after a brief visit to calcutta he entered into an agreement with h s suravardi the muslim league leader and last premier of undivided bengal to work together and restore peace in calcutta On 11th and 12th August Gandhi visited some riot affected areas in Calcutta and set up his peace camp in this house He selected this house because it was situated in the midst of a predominantly Muslim slum Suravardi wished to stay with him Gandhi ji agreed but cautioned Suravardi his life could be in danger On 13th August they moved in. Unfortunately they had to face a hostile demonstration because a section of Hindus did not approve of Gandhi's presence or his association with Suravarti. Suravarti was alleged to have planned the great Calcutta killing of the August of 1946. Sharoj Mukherjee recalls I would be standing here Bapu was sitting this wall is there not what there he was sitting on that corner there in between and then suddenly the crowd came inside which was outside broke the police cordon and started shouting near the windows at Bapu go back Gandhi go back Gandhi with the, with the black flags he got up slowly went on to the windows with his hands raised like this and he tried to pacify them and say something but he couldn't utter a word and then he came back sat down and covered his ears with his fingers but there was such sorrow on his face i couldn't understand then but i now i know that he felt for them also and for him. what they were doing Contrary to apprehensions, Calcutta witnessed an unprecedented emotional upsurge of brotherhood on Independence Day. Thousands of people visited Belia Ghata camp, but this old man, lone crusader against violence, did not join in the celebrations. He refused to meet the press and spent the day fasting. Shortly afterwards, this is how he expressed his views on independence.
हिंदुओं को मानते हैं कि कुरान शरीफ पढ़ने की कोई दरकार है गांधी जी वॉज टू लीव फॉर नोआ खाली ऑन द फर्स्ट ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर He devoted the days following 15th August to his daily prayers in various parts of the city. Every morning he would get up early and after prayers go for a walk barefoot. He would return to a massage and bath, write for Harijan magazine, meet people and time permitting listen to songs of Juthi Karoy, his favorite singer. गिरि धारे लाल चाकर राखो जी मन चाकर राखो जी ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑगस्ट ही वॉज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर हिस्स ट्रिप टू नोआखली द नेक्स्ट डे वेन वायलेंस इराप्टेड ड्यूरिंग द नाइट दिस हाउस केम ऑन द अटैक Gandhi ji cancelled his program the attackers they said had come for hasan suravarti fortunately he wasn't there and gandhi ji himself was saved by the grace of god next day riots spread across the city people stayed indoors panic and rumor raged like wild fire the fear of more violence forced people to flee the city was taken over by the army gandhi ji was praying within himself waiting for his light on the night of 1st september he received his light and declared he would go on a fast till sanity returned to the city while violence continued to disrupt normal life gandhi ji's fast caused embarrassment to all political parties desperate appeals were made through newspapers peace squads were formed peace processions raised the slogan stop violence save bapu ji but even the peace processions were not spared This film wishes to pay tribute to great martyrs like Shochindranath Mitra, Sushil Das Gupta, Sritish Pantopadhyay and lesser known martyrs like Biresh Kaur Ghosh. political leaders continued to visit hyderi manzil and appeal to gandhi to end his fast but mahatma gandhi was unmoved he was fasting not for the gundas in the street but to touch the hearts of those behind them After 73 hours on 4th September Gandhi ji succeeded in bringing Calcutta to its senses Bengal's one man boundary force had performed a miracle violence had subsided Gandhi ji ended his fast exactly at 9:15 pm by taking a glass of lemon juice from Shahid Suravarti the rajas began coming in to this house and surrender their arms to gandhi at night a delegation of political leaders of bengal representing all communities 
gave a written pledge to Gandhi that they would strive unto death to prevent communal strife. The team was led by N.C. Chatterjee of Hindu Mahasabha. Next day, more arms were surrendered. And on this very day, Gandhi gave his famous message. My life is my message. Sitting here in this very house. On 6th September, the day before leaving the city, Gandhiji left for the Maidan from this house to attend a mammoth rally. In his short speech, Gandhiji said, His principle of Ahimsa had neither succeeded nor failed. It was still on trial. Then, on 7th September, Gandhiji started his last journey from Calcutta. He was taken to Belur station to avoid the mad rush in Howrah. He reached Belur at 9 p.m. and at 9.30 his train left for Delhi. Gandhiji never returned to this house. He had just stopped once. And after that... Thank you.